PM FIFA 23 back here with another FIFA 15 Ultimate Team upload for you guys. It's a BPL Future Stars. Hey guys, it's Thomas back here with another BPL Future Star episode. You can see today we are looking at Arsenal. I think they've had a great season, but at the start of the season they were leaking goals everywhere until Cockler returned from his loan spell at Charlton. He had to come in due to injuries to Wilson Ortega in the holding role, and he's been excellent, but I think the CDM spot is a place where Wenger will strengthen the summer. The player he should buy is this man, Jeffrey Kondogbia. I don't think Arsene Wenger will ever replace Patrick Vieira, but this man is the closest you'll find. He's 6 feet 2, left foot, great work rates, tall, strong, only 22 years of age, and he's from the same country as Vieira, France. Arsenal seen a close hand this season in the last 16 of the Champions League, how good can Dolby can be. He ran the show against them both legs and they actually knocked Arsenal out. He was on the quarter final stage where Monaco actually got put out by Juventus. So we've put a plus 10 attribute card on him and we're going to jump into the game. This is a team we're up against. He did a full BPL side with Royce in left forward. He's playing Morales instead of midfield, so I don't know what he's really thinking about there. But it is a team with a lot of pace with Sturridge, Walcott and Walker and players that got there in it, so it's going to be a difficult enough game. The first thing you'll notice about my Arsenal team I've selected is that there's no Ozil or Sandy Carjola. I went for Ramsey, Coughlin and Kondogbia because they're all rather defensive players and I want to keep it tight and use Sanchez and Wellbacks pace on the break. You can see here Ramsey finds himself in already, finds Giroud but it's a great save from the goalkeeper. You can see he's picked a play up here with Kondogbia holding midfield. He strokes it into the midfield there, gets up to Giroud and he's, he's going again, he's always well in sport and he finds a three ball for Giroud where it's just too overhead. I find a lot of Kondogbia in this game. He just kept breaking up the play but his actual distribution of the ball wasn't, wasn't too good at all really. Like Cockerland, I preferred him much more. It was actually the first time I used Cockerland's upgraded card since the January upgrades, and I thought he's a very, very good player. You can see Kondopius Higgins in handy in this Arsenal team because it's a relatively small team, but his head's in there is a real advantage. Kondopia and Ramsey actually surprised me the amount of times they found him forward at close to injury, which is actually handy for this team because it, it lacked people around Jury at the time because he's obviously a quite slow player in this game and needed Sanchez and Wellbacks pace loads. I find this team's short passing to be very good. You see here, this what we want to use in around midfield is all very good, but when you try to put over a top three ball for Santi's well back to use their pace, it was always overhead or wide or a defender just blocked it straight away. It was so easy. See, that can do lose the ball game in midfield. I thought he did it quite a lot in this game, and I wouldn't really rate him. Remember, he's a plus 10 attribute card on him, meaning he's an 85 rated player, but Cockland's 74. I just find Cockland to be a lot better all round. You can see here this guy's got in, he got in down the left hand side there, putting it back, it was a good save for the goalkeeper, but they just kept ricocheting around the box and couldn't get a clear, and realised ended up scoring. It's a poor goal to concede. It's Bessie, so close to half time, obviously, so then we're going to half time trailing 1 0 because of that last minute goal. And you can see from the half time stats, it actually was a pretty even game, so to concede that goal in the last minute there, I was pretty disappointed to be honest, especially from Morales, who was playing in centre midfield, which I think is the right position. So we begin in the second half, we won't go to change anything obviously, we're just going to keep trying to play on the break with using Wellback's pace, Sanchez's pace, and just trying to get in behind him that way. And obviously Giroud is a target man, so if any long balls up to Giroud, trying to feed off him, but the second half started absolutely terribly. We can see the penalty straight away, you can see here he's got Marco Royce and up against Chesney and straight down the middle, it was, it was far too easy, so the poor start of the second half as well. So we can see in the stroke of half time, and then just after half time is real kicking the teeth for me. Obviously had it all to do from here on in, being 2-0 down, to try and get something out of the game. But I found the team just started playing a lot better, like this chance here from Jury, he should put that away. I think this guy going 2-0 up sort of took his foot off the gas a bit more, he started losing the ball a bit more around the field here, you see Cockland again picking up play. He just fires it in here at Jury. he takes the first touch of absolute dreams and Jury just slots it in, a fantastic goal. Like, I really wasn't expecting it after the, the chance he missed just like 5 minutes before that. And then literally from the centre, he cleared the ball, we got down the left fired it across and Sanchez scored his two goals in two minutes. It was just a great turnaround and I seen it coming. You seen there was well back going down the left. He used his pace all day for he was an excellent player. Is in form like it was seventy five K I think. The price range is for it now so it was well worth its money. You see again here he's got great pace and dribbling. Just takes two or three out of the game straight away. The last defender there does tackle him but it failed to Drew trying to put it through to him again but obviously a poor pass from Drew. But see again midfield there we are we're winning back again, Cockling, Debushi people that got there and around there it was a great play. Got the ball, Sanchez cross it in. We're looking for Drew there the back post, but he just wasn't there. And you can see since Sanchez got that goal, it's literally all us. We just put so much pressure on us, couldn't get that last goal. You've seen the game there, Drew just couldn't get him behind using his strength. Put through a game from Danny Wellback. Excellent performance from him. I find the pressing of this Arsenal squad are in the pit to be very, very good. We're forced a lot of errors from the guy, but you see here how the ball was put through the top, and that's so unreal. Just absolutely wipes the last guy out. We had to because Rush is going through there to score, and we were a bit 3 2, so. I just made a decision just to take him out, take the red card, take one for the team and get away with the, just the, the two each and take the take the draw. 
and obviously it was in the 8th minute so it had no effect on the game and he couldn't mount any attacks as there was no time remaining. So overall I was quite happy with this team, like, the two each I thought they did very well to come from behind. You've seen Chesney there, he got Matty Matt, he pulled us off a few times but Danny Welb I thought was the best outfield player, I thought he was a real threat all game, cutting inside that right foot. So overall I would recommend Kadogby and I hope Arsenal do send him this season because he'd be a great addition to the BPL. In this game I did prefer Cockerland though, so if you've got the coins in this game I would purchase Cockerland over Kondogbia. But yeah, I am going to give Kondogbia a rating of 7.5 out of 10 because his height is useful in there in this squad and he has got good attributes. And a lot of positives that other Arsenal players in this squad do not have. So you can see here we've given Kondogbia a rating of 7.5 out of 10 because overall he wasn't the worst and I do think he'd be a great addition to the Premier League in an Arsenal midfield offering his height his pace, his power and his left foot. So that's all folks, it wraps up another BPL Future Stars episode. We've now looked at Manchester United and Arsenal so far and up, le up next will be a potential future Chelsea star, so stay tuned for that. And if you're enjoying the series, remember to leave a comment below, tell me why you're enjoying it or what improvements you'd like to see to the series and remember to like and subscribe for more FIFA 15 content.